In this video, we are going to be talking about how to pick a bug bounty program if you're new to the world of bug bounty and you're just having a hard time figuring out which program is the right program for you. And that's what we are going to be talking about in this video. So I wanna pull you over here to my screen and we are going to be looking on the bug bounty program, Integrity. It is the number one ethical hacking or bug bounty platform in all of Europe. And they are the sponsor of today's video. So a big shout out to them. Let's go ahead and check out their programs and how their web application is set up and just how you can find the right program that will suit you. So the first thing I like to do when I come to the landing page is just come right up here to the public programs. You can click that. I've already got it open over here and scroll through the programs. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is find one that you are actually familiar with. So let's say we are familiar with the website that we're on right now, Integrity. We could go ahead and open this up and look at their program. Now the first thing I'm gonna do, once I know that I found a program that I'm familiar with and I might be interested in, is I'm gonna read through this entire page to understand what I'm allowed to do, legally the rules of engagement, what bugs I'm allowed to actually look for, because it's possible that there is a bug that I want to look for on their site that I may not be able to, or maybe I find a subdomain that is out of scope. So we want to make sure we stay in scope. And by looking at the SSRF, we can see that we need to do more than just give a pingback, which I've shown you how to do here on this channel in the past. But for this specific program, we would need to make sure that we can prove impact to the business beyond just sending ourselves a pingback from the server. So we can look at the program, make sure that we're interested in it. And because we're already on the page, one of the things I really like to do is come up here and check out the frameworks that are being used on the web application and see if it's something that I am familiar with. So sometimes you'll see like Node.js or something like that up here. And it's something that I really like to know what I'm up against rather than having to do some enumeration later. You can just install Wappalizer and click this and see what frameworks are running on the specific target that you may be looking at. Now, a program that I actually thought looked really interesting is Red Bull. I think most people are probably familiar with Red Bull, but one of the things that I thought was really cool that this program did is as you read through all of this, they tell you what you can do. Somewhere they tell you you can only run five requests. I think they said per second. Um, you're probably gonna get your IP ban if you're gonna do any kind of fuzzing, but they say no more than five requests per second. And somewhere, let me just hit command find and type in list. And we have this list somewhere right here. If you click on this list, it's going to take you to this page. And these are all of the in scope targets that you're allowed to look at. So this is the list of in scope targets, which is really cool. You don't even have to fuzz for this. Normally you would have to fuzz for this list. And if you're new to a bug bounty, this is something that's really going to help you. You don't have to fuzz for this. You can just go ahead and have this list right here. And one of the things I like to do with something like this, this list right here that you have is you can just come over to the raw and you can hit command a command C copy it and then put it in a, in a text file and then you can run it through this little probe that we made and make sure that we can find the URLs that are actually going to send back a response to us so that way we're not wasting our time looking at pages that have like a down server or just are not resolving at all. So we could go check out that tool and you could use that or you could use HTTP probe as well. And then one last thing I like to do before I actually get started, once I have a list of of URLs like this, what you can do is just grab a few of these URLs right here and you can open up this little extension right here. You'll have to install it. It's called open list. You can paste in these URLs and then click open URLs because this actually says it doesn't resolve. If we would have used the probe tool that I just showed you, we wouldn't have this in our list. So we can go ahead and close that. And then what I'm looking for in here is something that is going to be unique. So these are all similar. So I'm just gonna click through all of those. Servers down right here. This looks interesting. Uh, it may be something that you would wanna check out. You can continue through these and just close through these. See our probe would have not included any of those in our list. So that's kind of how I would go about looking for a target program. It's something that I'm interested in, would be Red Bull, thought it was pretty cool. Uh, they have a really cool looking program. So it's a program that I personally would be interested in doing more research on. So I just wanted to walk you through the process of how I kind of choose programs and what I look for. So I look for things that are familiar to me, frameworks that are familiar to me, and then a really, really broad program. 
So you can see with all of these URLs that this is going to be a really, really broad program. There's a ton of targets for you to be looking at. I really don't like having a really narrow scope. So here is a huge list. This is kind of what I would look for, something like this with Red Bull. So I would encourage you to go out to Integrity and check out their bug bounty programs and see if you can find maybe a good target for you to start practicing on. Thanks for watching.